The island of Borneo lies off the Malaysian mainland, and on the northern coast of the island is Sarawak, the largest state in the Federation of Malaysia. It is rich in natural resources, including one of the world's oldest and largest rainforests. Every day, the Malaysian logging industry is clearing five square miles of the rainforest, the fastest rate of deforestation in the world. And it is doing more than destroying the rainforest. There are indigenous peoples who have lived on the rivers and tributaries of this rainforest for at least 50,000 years. And they are being destroyed too. Their food, their water, their culture, their livelihood, their spiritual strength. It is a fate they have not been willing to accept. And one of them, a 28-year-old member of the Kayan tribe, who is also a staff member of Malaysia's Friends of the Earth, has been speaking for them. And in English, Malay, and tribal languages, he has been telling their story to his government and to the rest of the world. He is Harrison Now. When Harrison Now's letters and petitions to his government and to its various departments, and to the Minister of the Environment, who is also owner of one of Malaysia's largest lumber companies, when these efforts brought little sympathy, he saw what he had to do. He led the people of Sarawak to more visible action. They blocked logging camps. They blocked access roads to the forests. They put logs, frail wooden structures, and then men, women, and children across the roads and kept the timber lorries from passing through. It was, they declared, their own land, their own property, and they had the right to protect it. The government would do nothing about the logging. What the government did was to demolish the blockade and arrest 42 people and put Harrison now in jail. They kept him there for two months, kept him under house arrest for another 18 months, and kept him from speaking to the press or attending any political gatherings. The logging resumed full speed, and it goes on full speed today. But Harrison now has brought attention from around the world to the rainforests of Sarawak and the people who are trying to live their lives there. The Rainforest Action Network has called him extraordinary, a wonderful person doing something under impossible conditions, the focal point and leader of a movement that has, from the remotest part of the planet, made the Malaysian rainforest a mainstream issue throughout the world. For outstanding environmental achievement in Asia, a 1990 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Harrison Now of Baran, Sarawak, Malaysia.